A new paper from the Mayo Clinic proposes an updated algorithm for selecting antipsychotics in schizophrenia, emphasizing a shift in initial treatment recommendations, particularly in cases involving aggression or violence. The review recommends clinicians classify schizophrenia patients at diagnosis into two categories, those with and those without aggressive behaviors. For patients with a history of violence, they advocate starting with olanzapine, setting its superior efficacy in managing hostility in multiple studies. If olanzapine fails, move next to clozapine. This is a big change, as existing guidelines recommend two antipsychotic failures before trying clozapine. Here, they are moving it up, but only for patients with a history of violence. Why? Because clozapine's superior efficacy may reduce aggression sooner in the treatment sequence. The recommendation is in line with the APA guidelines, which highlight clozapine's benefit in aggressive and suicidal patients. For nonviolent cases, the algorithm now includes olanzapine and perfenazine, along with aripiprazole and risperidone, deviating from other guidelines that generally exclude olanzapine due to its metabolic risks and perfenazine because of side effect concerns. But despite metabolic risks, olanzapine has an efficacy advantage over the other antipsychotics, and patients stuck with olanzapine the longest in the pivotal KD trial. Similarly, perfenazine's lower rates of tardive dyskinesia and effective symptom control support its place as a viable first-line option. The guidelines place importance on long-term outcomes, such as all-cause discontinuation and mortality, rather than focusing on short-term side effects. This aligns with studies showing lower mortality rates for clozapine and olanzapine users compared to some other antipsychotics like risperidone, particularly in extended follow-up studies. These criteria aim to balance the need for effective symptom management with long-term patient health. These new recommendations aim to address gaps in current schizophrenia treatment practices, especially for patients presenting with violence or high hostility. By placing olanzapine and clozapine earlier in the treatment sequence for aggressive patients and expanding the first-line options, this algorithm may offer more robust support for clinicians in both managing symptoms effectively and minimizing early discontinuation. With these recommendations, clinicians are encouraged to engage in shared decision-making with patients, aligning treatment choice with individual symptom profiles, tolerability, and preferences, while monitoring for metabolic effects where indicated.